Hi everybody, it's Paculus here. And last week we went through a number of things that you can check as soon as you walk into the barn to make sure your horse is okay. So you want to make sure that your horse is alert, that he's eating and drinking, his bed's intact, he's got normal amounts of droppings, his eyes and his nostrils are clear, and he's not resting a front leg. The things that we're about to talk about are all things that you can see just looking over the top door of the stall. So the first one that I always like to look at is the different sort of lumps and bumps that are on a horse's legs. If you look at a lot of horses' legs, and I recommend that you do, you'll start to notice what's normal and what's not normal. But if for some reason you see something on a horse's leg, as a, a sort of a, a round bone sticking out here, if you're wondering when you look at that from the outside the stall, if that should be there, the easiest way to tell is just to look to see if he's got one on this side. And then you know that that lump belongs there, okay? So until you understand sort of the underlying structures of the horse's legs, you can still check just by making sure that he has the same thing on both sides. That kind of symmetry is really important. You can do it with the horse's head, too. Like if you draw an imaginary line right down the middle of Rocky's face, and then look at him, and you want to see, like, is the one eye the same size as the other eye, or is there any swelling on this side that's not on that side? <laughs> The other thing you can check is muscle development in a horse as well, right? If a horse is standing with both hind legs together, he's not quite right now. Like, not only just in the horse's face are we looking for symmetry, but if you sort of draw a line right down the middle here, and you look to see if the muscle development is equal on both sides of the horse's um, body, and you can look anywhere here, but if the horse were standing with his back to you in the stall, you'd be able to look at this part. And sometimes, you know, with a horse that's had some lameness issues, or that they're traveling in a way that they're trying to protect themselves, you'll see that maybe Maybe there's less muscle development on one side than on the other. And that's sort of a good warning sign that maybe things are not going as well as they should. Okay. So that kind of symmetry, you can even take it as far as the horse's feet. Like we had a horse a number of years ago that had navicular disease in one of his front feet. I think it was his right front. And if you looked at that horse standing straight on, his right front foot was actually smaller than his left front foot. So even without that horse moving, you knew that there was a problem with that horse. The, what was happening was because he was weight bearing more on his left front foot than on his right, he was favoring the right, that left foot had started to expand and sort of pancake out a little bit while the other foot kind of got contracted a little bit. So again, you know, just noticing that, you would know that there's something else to sort of investigate on a horse if there's not that symmetry that we're looking for. Another thing that you can look at without, you know, if the horse sticks his head out over the stall, you know, you can just sort of pinch a little bit of skin here and hold it up. It should flap right back down like that. If that skin sort of stays up like a little tent, that just usually, that means that the horse is dehydrated, okay? So that skin should go right back down the way his does. You know, and again, dehydration, especially in the winter, right? It can be hard to get horses to drink in the winter time because the water is really cold. But we'll add sometimes warm water to their, their water just to get, to encourage them to have a good drink. So one of the things, first of all, I recommend you take your gloves off whenever you're, re you're touching a horse's legs. What you're looking to feel, you know, is if you have a little bit more sensitivity in your fingers than you did if you had gloves on, right? And you're really trying to feel what's normal try to notice are there lumps that don't belong and again you can go back to that symmetry thing right that if you're touching a horse's leg on this side and you feel a little lump there you can check and see if he's got it over here you know so there's it's really important I recommend everybody really try to feel horses legs as often as you can because the more often you start to notice what feels normal with the horse the more the quicker you're going to be to notice when something is wrong and again you're looking for heat and if let's say I'm running down my hand here and it feels sort of warm I'm going to check this side, and it, if it feels this is a really, really hot spot here, and it's not correspondingly hot over here, I probably have discovered a localized source of pain for the horse, and it might be worth telling somebody about it. The second thing that you can do when you're looking to see if the horse is okay is to feel for the ribs. So if you run your hands along here, you might be able to feel the ribs. You probably should be able to feel the ribs. My guys are a little bit uh, round. Anyway, um, but you shouldn't really be able to see a whole bunch of them, okay? Now, sometimes you'll see a really athletic thoroughbred type that may that's very fit, and you may be able to see a number of his ribs. That should kind of an accompany a, a sense of sort of well-being and athletic fitness in a horse. If you see a thoroughbred type with his spine sticking out, sort of ragged hips, and his, and his ribs showing, that's not the same thing as a fit athletic horse. Now the one thing I, I do need to mention about um, seeing horses and their ribs showing and things like that, I mentioned this because years ago we rescued four horses um, that were in, came from pretty 
dire circumstances and they were in really, really rough condition. And we were really worried that somebody would come to the barn and only notice those horses. The one in particular was really bad. And we were always thinking that, you know, somebody's going to see only that horse and think that that's our standard of care. You see all of the rest of the horses are really looking quite good and there's one horse that looks poor. It's probably worth your while to maybe, you know, politely inquire what's the matter with that horse. You may find that there's a story there. So again, just a, a quick safety tip. Remember, if I can't see the horse's eye, the horse can't see me. So I'm standing here right now and Jasper knows that I'm here, so it's okay. The third thing that you can check that we're going to talk about tonight is the, the rapidness of their breathing, okay? And sometimes the easiest place to see that is standing back here and watching this area, okay? And the horse is a very slow breather, right? They only breathe 8 to 12 times a minute. If, you know, so it's going to, you have to be a bit patient, but if you watch, you can see his sort of belly moving a little bit. You have to wait for it. And there it goes again. Okay? You can count it. And it should be 8 to 12 times. Now if you've brought the horse out of the stall and maybe there's a little bit of excitement in the barn, maybe that breathing will get a little bit quicker. But if you're looking at a lot quicker breathing, and combined with what we talked about the other week of that sort of wrinkled nostril and any other signs that the horse is not well, that breathing can be another sort of piece to the puzzle that lets you know that the horse is not doing well. The first one was we were going to check for any lumps and bumps on the horse's legs from over the stall door. If you see one on one side that you don't think belongs, check and see if he's got it on the other side. The second thing we can look at is symmetry in the horse. Again, if you draw an imaginary line down the middle of the horse's face to see if the right eye looks the same as the left eye, and just keep making comparisons that way. And you can actually do that through the horse's whole body, you know, in terms of the way the muscle development is. It should be the same pretty much on both sides. And then the third thing that we can do is to check with that pinch test to see if he's dehydrated. There's three things that you can do now that you're touching the horse, and that is that you would want to take your gloves off and feel his legs for heat. You might want to run your hands over his body. You should be able to feel the ribs, but not visually see them unless you've got a very fit and athletic horse. And the third thing is you want to watch how often he takes a breath. It should be 8 to 12 times a minute, and so you want to check that. Next week we're going to go even a little deeper and we're going to look at things that you can do to check the horse again, only this time you're going to need a tool and it's going to be a thermometer and maybe even a stethoscope. Remember if you're watching this anywhere besides at our blog, go on over there, scroll down, leave a message and until then we'll see you next week. Remember to thank your horse.